All right. <clears throat> um, we are rubbing dish soap on the inside of the slicks and let them dry. Uh, it's a little, I guess it's an old school trick, I guess you could call it. I'm not, I'm not sure. Uh, anyways, it keeps them from leaking down so bad. Um, you know, these softball slicks, if you, if you, uh, just by airing them, they'll leak down within about a week or two. Uh, apparently the soap, you put soap in it, dish soap, and you just let it dry. You know how soap kind of dries to like that waxy film? I guess it like seals it basically and, uh, prevents it from leaking down so bad, I guess, so. We're going to do that, let them sit for about two or three days until they kind of wax up. Um, then I'm going to mount them up. And uh, they have, oh, let's see, they had Test and Tune. Uh, they had Test and Tune last Friday night. I missed it. Didn't have my shit together. Uh, got caught with my hands tied behind my back. Um, had to work. Couldn't do nothing about it. <coughs> uh, but there's another track. I wouldn't say so local. It's over in Carolina. Uh, about an hour and a half away. I think they're holding Test and Tune like two Sundays out of the month. So every other Sunday. And um, they are holding a Test and Tune, I believe, this Sunday coming. Which is Easter weekend. So I'm not sure if I'll be able to make it. But... I would like to have these ready to go for the next test and tune, whichever one I can make, where I'm not caught with my hands behind my back and can't do nothing. Uh, so, that's what I'm up to. Just mounting them up. Tell me about getting caught with your hands behind your back. The wife just pulled up and I was using her soap. Now I gotta go help do groceries. All right, <clears throat> I'm swapping the coal out for this old stock thing, which works fine, to one that my old man gave me. It's a, a cell. Uh, I'll take a picture and put it up. But It'll probably give me a little more spark. A little more sparky spark. Uh, swap, swapping it over now. Just got to tighten these down and then hook my wire back up give it a try all right so I'm replacing the intake uh, I plan on doing a cam upgrade I had uh, 79 beans I don't know if y'all know him or not um, he's got a 79 Pinto I believe it is and with a 347 on it But anyways, he had a comp cams uh, roller camshaft that he sent me, and I appreciate that, man. That means a lot. He sent it to me, and I'd been wanting to do a little bit of a cam upgrade in this thing, uh, along with the single plane, uh, the Wien accelerator that I've been wanting to put on here. Um, but I realized the other day when I was driving, I had a intake gasket seeping, and it was coming down, and every every time I you know let the engine cool down and come back I'd have a puddle sitting right there on that little tab that's on the block so um, with this being my daily driver right now because that thing is literally it's been sitting here for about a week now but look at all the uh, oil and transmission fluid that's been draining out of it it's pretty bad it's got a bad rear main seal leak and everything so and it needs it needs brake pads so um, I just couldn't uh, I can't really afford for this thing to be down come here Jackson I can't really afford for this thing to be down more than a day right now so I'm gonna go ahead and just do the intake for now and um, go from there so anyways I got just got the intake off and uh, this thing's pretty clean inside I'm happy with it pretty damn clean so um intake gaskets is probably the reason why i was leaking because those gaskets are way bigger than they should be Daddy. those are just ones i had laying around at the time so Daddy. i've got some um 1162s i'm gonna use <coughs> so 
let's get it on all right i got the wind bolted on I'm trying to look at the port alignment let me flip this camera upside down see y'all bear with me i don't know if it's going to show or not probably not going to be able to get the camera in there I'm sticking y'all in a hole Whoa. all right i got the accelerator on uh, only modification I had to do was seems that the carburetor sits about a half inch back further than the dual plane uh, so I had to make a homemade bracket or spacer with two bolts uh, to get to where I can get full throttle uh, my adjustment here was threaded all the way back so I couldn't get back anymore uh, I'm probably going to go ahead and upgrade to one of the throttle brackets that you know it's like a kind of sits like that and it bolts on your studs and then the cable sits on top and there's like two springs up here I'll probably go ahead and upgrade to that because that deal there is it works but it's not you know it's not the way it should be so I made a quick adjustment to my uh, TV cable I won't know how how much more it needs to be adjusted until I drive it Trying to give it time to let the silicone dry. Alright, I gave it a heat cycle. I'm going to go through and double check the intake bolts. Which the, whatever, whichever ones I can get to. Also, the little bit that I've seen it run, or had it running, um... Acceleration seems a lot more snappier, you know, above like, say, 1500. Like, if I hold up the 1500 and I just stomp it, like, it gets there fast compared to what the dual plane did. I don't, maybe it's just a illusion I'm having, you know. Now, the true test, let's see if this damn hood will close. Uh, probably not. All right. When it don't fit, it don't fall off. I'm gonna set y'all in here. I'm gonna try to close the hood. See what happens. Oh, watch out, buddy. Watch your fingers. I gotta close the hood. We gotta check to see if this hood will close with this. We're good. Y'all want to go for a ride underneath there? I hear some four barrel humming. Got something on the screen. I'm going to go for a ride in there. Hear some four barrel humming. I can mount y'all up like on this side. And you hear, whoop, whoop. Or you hear right here, pop, 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 pop. See them every day. No more squeaking now. I got me a new belt. All right. So the car's been driving good. No issues. Um, only issue I have now is I cannot get uh, first gear and. I've got a bunch of slack in this shifter, so I don't know if it's the shifter or if it's, it's a brand new cable, shifter cable. Um, I don't know. It's, I can't get first and I can barely get parked, so I uh, always keep the e-brake on and uh, the times that I can get parked, I put it in park. If not, I leave it neutral. Um, and I talk to Will. So, I don't know, I gotta figure that out. But other than that, it's, you know, it's shifting fine. I'm getting drive, overdrive, all that. So, no no problems there. But, gotta figure this out. Because not being able to get first gear, well, 
I don't know. It just makes driving automatic that much more boring. Um, I got to be able to get first gear so I can so-called shift o matic slide-o-matic, whatever you want to call it, and bang some gears. Do the shuffle. The AOD shuffle, that's what I'm talking about. Um, anyways, yep, I'm going to figure that out. That's how much slack is on this cable. I mean, the shifter. I'm not getting no click. That's just play. That's a whole gear. It's boogie time. I got first gear now, baby. Thank you. 